Hi, children. This is a very interesting exercise. I'll give you a few numbers and you pick the smallest number. So, what is the exercise we are doing now? Find the smallest number. There are a whole lot of numbers. You see, you look at 10, 20, 30s, 40s, like that. Look at the number. It's all three digit numbers. Find smallest one among the numbers I give you. Let's look at our first exercise. Look what we have here. Isn't it interesting? Yes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six numbers of that. How do you check it out? First you go to the tens, one, ten, hundred. Look at the hundred. Then you look at the tens and find the smallest. Look. Let's say aloud the numbers that we have. Shall we? And then we, when we find the smallest number, we'll take and put it in the middle here, in the green space. Okay, here we have 1, 10, 100, 900, 19, 900, 19, 288, 600, 6. 355, 446, and 757. Okay? Nine, let's look at all the hundred. 900, 200, 600, 300, 400, and 700. In the hundred place, which is the smallest? 200. Very good. This is the biggest, and 200 is the smallest. There is any other 200? No. We have only 300 and 400. Therefore, 288 is the smallest among these six numbers. So, we'll take the 288 and put it in the green space here. Now, we pick the smallest among these numbers. Very good. Did you enjoy the exercise? Let's take another sum now. Good. First, let's read aloud. What numbers we have? 300, 600, 100, 400, 200, and 500. Here they are all in 100. 500, 300, 600, 100, 400, 200. All in 100. All we need to look at the number, the once in the hundred place, which is the smallest number, and that's your smallest number. Yes, let's look. Here we have five in the hundred place, three in the hundred place, six in the hundred place, one in the hundred place, four in the hundred place, and two in the hundred place. So, which is small two or one? Definitely one. So, one hundred is the smallest of all the six numbers. We pick it and put it in the middle, in the center. 100 is the smallest among the numbers given to you. Let's take another sum. Shall we? Here we are. First we are going to read aloud the numbers. 410, 510, 210, 610, 310 and 110. In the ones place we have all hundred and in the tens place we have all ones. Now let's look at the hundred places. Alright? We have four in the hundred place here, five here, five hundred, two hundred, six hundred, three hundred and one hundred. Certainly, when you look at two hundred and one hundred, definitely one hundred and ten is the smallest number given over here. So we pick that and we put it in the middle. 110 is the smallest number among these numbers. Yes? Did you enjoy? Shall we take another sum? Good. Here we are. First, we need to say the numbers aloud. 452, 855, 
654. Okay, let's look at the ones place. We have we have one, five, three, four, two, five. Let's go to the tens place. In the tens place, all numbers have fifties. Fine. Let's look at the hundred place. In the hundred place, you have four hundred, eight hundred, two hundred, three hundred, six hundred, and seven hundred. Of the lot, in the hundred place, we have two here. So two hundred. 51 is the smallest number among this. So we take and put it in the middle here. 251 is the smallest number among these. Did you enjoy? Let's take another sum now. Look. Let's say the numbers aloud. 922 800 73, 665, 556, 447, 734. Let's look at all the hundred places. What do we have? We have 900 here, 922 here, 873 here, 665 here. 556 here, 447, and 734. Of all, we have 9 and 7, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So 400 is the smallest. So 447 is the smallest number among these. Yes? Did you enjoy? Good. You know now how to find the smallest number? Let's take another sum. Look, we have here 546, 758, 396. We are looking at the hundred place. In the hundred place, let's look at which is the smallest hundred among the six numbers given to us. We have here 396, 546, 758, 663, 877, 600. 85. So among the 100, we have 300 being the smallest. 396. The next one is the 500. So 396 is the smallest number among these. So we take and put it here in the middle because 396 is the smallest number among the number given to us. Did you enjoy? Good. Let's look at another sum. And identify the smallest number. Look, we have here, let's read the numbers first. 407, 506, 201, 604, and 901, 104. In the tens place, we have all zeros. Let's go to the hundred place and say aloud, yes, 400, 100, 900, 600, 200, 500. Okay, so which is the smallest? We have 200 here, we have 100 here. So the smallest number among this is 104. So we take that 104, which is the smallest among the six numbers, and we'll put it in the middle. Yes? So, 104 is the smallest number. Very good. Did you enjoy? Good. Finding the smallest number. Let's take another sum. Let's say aloud the numbers. 145, 100, 
155, 165, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 135, 7 tens, 6 tens, 3 tens, 2 tens, and 5 tens. So among the tens, which is the smallest? 5, 4, 7, 6, 3, 2. So 2 is the smallest, 20. So we have here 25. All others are big. You have 35, 45. So 125 is the smallest number among the six number. So we take 125 and put in the middle. Now you learn to find the smallest number. Good. Let's take another sum. Let's say the numbers aloud. 803, 365, 586, 447, 754, and 462. Let's look at all the 100 plays. What do we have? We have 400, 800, 300, 500, 400, 700. Now we have 4, 400, 2, 1, 300. Others are 8 and 7 and 2. So which is the smallest number? Definitely 300. So 365. The next number is only 462. So 365 is the smallest among these numbers. So we take and put it in the middle here. 365. Did you enjoy finding the smallest number? Let's look at another sum now. Let's read aloud. The numbers 254, 224, 274, 234, 264, 244. All numbers come in 200. You have all 200. Therefore, let's look at the numbers in the tenth place which is the smallest number in the tens place, because all 200. Shall we? Here you have 60, 30, 70, 20, 50, 40. So 20 is the smallest. So 224 is the smallest. 224 is the smallest number among this. 200. 24. So we take 224, put it in the middle, because that's the smallest number among the six. Did you enjoy finding the number? Very good. Let's take another sum. Look, let's say aloud the numbers given to us. 110, 987, 600. 54, 221, 178, and 432. Let's look at all the numbers in 100, in the 100 place. What do we have? Here you have 100, 900, 600, 200, again 100, 400. So we have two numbers with 100. What are they? We have 178, 110. Which is small? Is it 78 or 10? Which is small? Definitely 10. So, among the six numbers, 110 is the smallest. So, we take and put in the middle. So, we identify the smallest number among the six numbers given to us. Did you enjoy? Let's take another sum. Good. 
Shall we read aloud? 545, 840, 653, 942, 360, and 407. Let's look at all the numbers. In 100, we have 400, 500, 800, 600, 900, then 300. So which is the smallest? 300 or 400? Definitely 300. So, among the six numbers, 360 is the smallest and so we take and put in the middle here. 360 is the smallest number among the six numbers given to us. Yes? Did you enjoy identifying the smallest number? Good. Shall we look at another sum? Let's say aloud the numbers. 150, 125, 250, 225, 200, 175. We have numbers in 200 and 100. 200, 200, 200, but we have 3, 100. Now, in the 100, let's look at the tens place and identify the smallest one. Okay? We have 75, 50, 25, 70, 5. Is it small? 50, is it small? Or 25, which is small? Definitely 25. So, 125 is the smallest among the six numbers. We take 125, put it in the middle. Are you happy you identified the smallest number? Good. I hope you enjoyed finding the smallest number.